What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and as you guys could see there in that opening screen, I am 6 and 1 currently in this season. Technically 7 and 1, but the game screwed me and completely ripped me off. Didn't count one of the games that I played, which is very frustrating, but it is what it is. So we're going to see if we can get a victory today and try and move one step closer to the playoffs. We do start off here with the ball on first down, first drive of the game, and I am going to go off the left side here with Giovanni Bernard. You guys know that when I get my tight end moving there in motion, I typically am going to run to that side. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a tell, I'm not going to lie, but a lot of times people still don't see it coming. I broke a tackle there on that first play and was able to pick up a decent chunk, but I lost some yardage there on the Cullenberger screen pass on second down. Thankfully, on third down, Jason Morrow does get open over the middle with a little slant pattern there. And again, we're going to go off the left side, moving that tight end into motion, picking up about five there to set up a third and five. And guys, again, over the middle to the tight end. That is going to be a re repeating thing for me throughout this whole season. It's just something that I am comfortable doing in this game, finding the tight ends over and over again as we get a huge play down the field that time. Jordan Cameron on the corner route, and Giovanni Bernard is going to take this one up the middle for a huge gain. Probably could have gotten into the end zone if I didn't try and truck there, but I thought the, the guy was going to actually hit me. Didn't really matter, though. Next play, I am able to get into the end zone with a pass to Jordan Cameron again. Nice touchdown there. Feeling good on my first drive. Feeling pretty confident that I'm going to be able to score on offense. He didn't really have any answers for my offense there on the first drive anyway. But on the very first play, he hits me with a little bit of spacing there. And that's like the technical side of Madden that I just don't really do very well. You know, running plays like that that are actually supposed to get your players open and not just begging them to get open, which is what I pretty much always do. So I was a little bit worried there that he actually picked a play that was a uh, an intelligent play. But he kind of made up for it in the opposite direction by just chucking it into coverage a bunch of times. Thankfully for him, he was able to catch a lot of them. And watch this play. I like this one. I haven't seen a lot of people actually run that where they send the halfback in motion and then pass it to him in the flats. I thought he was going to do it again here, but he was actually setting up a uh, screen pass to the left side of the field. Thankfully, though, we got through on the pass rush and did get the sack. But it didn't really matter because he was able to complete a pass, brought up a third and two, and we make a clutch stop here. And this is probably one of the most important plays of the game. Fourth and one, he fakes the hike. And guys, his guy went with a false start. So he got moved back five yards. He was going to go for it. He ended up having to kick the field goal. And that was the end of the half, essentially. So he did get the ball again here, down 3-7. to seven. I think that's why he decided to kick the field goal, because he knew he was going to get the ball back. And watch this. He's going to set up that same play again, and I really just didn't have an answer for it. He probably could have sat there and ran that same play over and over and over again, and I wouldn't have been able to stop it. I don't know what I need to do to stop that thing. But the very next play, he is going to break off for a decent gain there. Ugh. His running game was kind of killing me here. I, I just didn't really have much of an answer for it. Five rushes for 43 yards at that point. Big production for his running game. And usually I'm pretty good at stopping the run. So I was a little bit thrown off by it. He was picking up decent gains here. But finally we did make a nice stop on him. Brought up a third and seven. And guys, right here he is going to make a major mistake. He is going to throw the ball into cover. And it didn't get intercepted. I was so upset. You guys have no idea. He just throws it at my guy. Like, it was a pass to my cornerback, and he doesn't pick up the catch. So, very next play, fourth and seven now. And, guys, look at this nonsense. He's just going to take off with Matt Safford, pick up the first down, easy peasy. I just couldn't believe it, man. I was getting so irritated because I knew this guy was just going to be able to run out the clock if he just kept, kept picking up first downs. So, second and five, and he just continues to run the ball. Third and three now. And I do pick up a decent stop here. Brings up a fourth and two. And this is another one of the biggest clutch plays of the game. We get the stop on fourth down. Two minutes and seven seconds left in the game. And guys, now I just pretty much need to run out the clock. And I am going to run the football with Giovanni Bernard. Look at him breaking tackles. Three broken tackles on that play. Only a five-yard gain. So pretty damn beastly by Gio Bernard. We juke out a defender there. And we are off to the races here on this play. Look at this. The unnecessary spin move. And Gio Bernard says, see ya, baby. Off to the end zone. A touchdown. Huge play there. We go up 14-3, to which makes it two scores. And my opponent only had about a minute left. 
He wasn't going to have enough time to come back. You are going to see the rest of the plays that he ran, or, or essentially the rest of the plays anyway. Watch all these drop picks that my team has throughout this game. It's just the story of my season in this game for some reason. Let me know if you guys are having the same problem. Are your cornerbacks just dropping every interception in this game i know we were a little bit spoiled in madden 25 with our cornerbacks making unbelievable catches all the time but this game it just seems like all of them have stone hands i mean unless you've maybe got like a deon sanders or something like that i can't find anybody who can make a catch on defense it's just ridiculous and you know it just really gets so frustrating because if you give the opposing team 25 chances on offense on every single game eventually yeah they're gonna pick up these third and longs or these fourth and longs and and things like that because the game is just so offensive driven it's madden you know so he ends up kicking a field goal here at the end of the game i do walk away with the w 6 to 14 is the final score hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay footage from today if you did please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel i will have a budget series video out in the next day or so so be on the lookout for that thank you guys again and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.